Now, Spirit of the Bluegrass. Sponsored by ADA Heating and Air. ADA is on the way. Store owners will tell you it's hard to find help these days. Small business owners can't pay as much as the big chains, and people change jobs frequently. But people in a small town refuse to let staffing problems affect their favorite store. As Fox 56 Evening Anchor Marvin Bartlett shows us, the folks in Wilmore have stepped up to share the spirit of the bluegrass. Fitch's IGA is the only grocery store in the small town of Wilmore, and the owner has been working here since he was 16. Leonard Fitch is about to turn 84. And I consider him the eighth wonder of the world. He's, he's Mr. Wilmore. Recently, regular customers noticed something different. The shelves seemed especially bare. Everybody loves Leonard, so we're always concerned if uh, you know something looks amiss. And he said he was having a hard time getting people to, uh, to come in stock. When Marcy Thobabin asked Leonard if he could use some help, he said, Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> So she rounded up a team from her church Next load. and put out a call for help on social media. An army of volunteers tore into boxes and restored order in the aisles the next Tuesday after that week's order came in. Cream of broccoli. It was such a success, more people came the next week, not just from the church, but also from the community. That goes there. And this including a city councilman and his wife. I didn't know Marcy, never heard of her, just saw that post. I sent her a private message, hey, I, I think I might like to help, can I do that? Come on down, she said. Some people bring their children, believing this free mission is a valuable life lesson. They think get to think about other people. Why would people work for free? Because they can't imagine life without this store. Don't even say that. Uh, you couldn't get a stick of butter. I mean, yes, you can go to the dollar store, but I'm not shopping for groceries at the dollar store. At this store, customers even throw a little extra money Leonard's way. They know it's his second home, even more so, since he lost his wife of six decades earlier this year. This isn't the first time Fitch's fans have given the store a boost. About 10 years ago, a compressor went out, making this bank of freezers useless. Customers started a GoFundMe campaign and raised more than $21,000 to save the frozen food section. Many months, the store operates in the red, and Leonard often dips into his personal savings to keep it afloat. He's not concerned about making a profit. That's, that's not the main thing. We want to make friendships. Leonard knows what happens in his supermarket is super indeed. It warms my heart. And I know that without them, we, we couldn't be getting by. It's been wonderful. I feel loved. Got it. These stalkers may not get any money, but they say they are compensated. To see Leonard smile, I can't think of anything better than that. At Fitch's IGA, shelves aren't the only thing replenished each Tuesday. Yes, Jesus loves me. Hearts are filled as well. In Wilmore, Marvin Bartlett with the spirit of the bluegrass. Leonard Fitch has also been on the Wilmore City Council for more than 50 years. He's known as the man who donates Watermelon slices to everyone who attends a community picnic on the 4th of July.